hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today in this video i'm going to be going over the makeup brands that i tried for the very first time in 2020 and my thoughts about them and also i'm going to be going over the list that i have for 2021 hopefully i'll be able to try at least some of them so if you're interested in this video keep on watching and let's go ahead and get started Alright, so I do have to say that for 2020, I did end up trying a lot of high-end makeup brands that I actually have never tried. I was very surprised. So the first brand that I tried was Natasha Denona, and I actually purchased this Diamond and Blush Face Palette on sale at Sephora. You open it and you have three cream products at the top, and then you have three powder products at the bottom. A very beautiful palette, good quality. This was worth every dollar, so I was very happy with this purchase. I highly recommend it if it's still on sale at Sephora. Really enjoyed this palette. I love that I have it in my collection. And the two other products that I purchased from her are her eyeshadow palettes. I have the Glam Palette, which is a very beautiful neutral palette. Great for an everyday wear. Great purchase. Very happy with the formula. And the other one was the Bronze Palette. It's a very warm palette. Also, I have loved the formula in this palette. Overall, I was not disappointed with the brand Natasha Denona and I'm very glad that I tried it during 2020. Next up is Pat McGrath. This is a brand that I have been eyeing for the longest time ever, but their palettes are so expensive. They're like in the 129 range. So the first palette that I tried from her was this mini palette. I bought this like for $25 on her side. It was on sale and this was a cool tone palette. I saw it at that price and I was like, I need to get it so I can try the formula. And this is how the palette looks. It is a very beautiful cool tone palette. So this palette is what started my love for Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. The formula in this little palette is so beautiful, super blendable, smooth. This palette just blends out on your eye by itself. So I had to try the big palettes. So after purchasing this palette, I purchased the Divine Rose 2 palette. I have the limited edition packaging. This is such a beautiful palette. This is me and an eyeshadow palette. I love this palette so much. The formula is amazing. I don't regret paying $129 for it. For me, it was all worth it. And it feels a very high end. So I do feel that for the amount of money that you are paying, you do get that luxury item that you expect. And lastly, I purchased this one. I don't remember the name of it, but this is the most neutral palette that she has in her collection. I really did enjoy it, but I was a little bit disappointed with some of the shades. They're not very smooth or buttery as the other two that I have tried. The special formulas in here are so beautiful. So to me, that in general makes up for the entire price of the palette. But some of the shimmers in here, especially this one, is really like hard and not smooth. A great pigmentation, but it's just not as buttery as the rest of them. But overall, I'm happy that I have it in my collection. And I'm actually looking forward to purchase at least two more of her big palettes this year, just to have them in my collection. And lastly, I did try some of her lip glosses. I bought a mini trio. They are very beautiful lip glosses. I feel that they're good, but they're not super special. I like the price that I pay for this three little mini lip glosses. It gives me a sense of our formula, and they'll probably last me a lifetime. I think they are good, decent lip glosses, but if I ran out of them, will I go and purchase a full size of one of them? No. I think the formula is good, but it is very overpriced for a lip gloss. They're good lip glosses, but that's it. And finally, Charlotte Tilbury. I purchased a bronzer, a blush, an eyeshadow palette, and a lip gloss from her. So let's start off by the famous bronzer. This is a huge bronzer. This is the medium shade. It is a good formula, but it was not my favorite. Not like everybody says, oh my God, it's my holy grail. I love it. It's an okay formula, but it's not super special to me. I think this might be a little bit overhyped and overpriced, but I'm glad that I have it in my collection and that I was able to try it. I also purchased this eyeshadow palette called the Pillow Talk Palette. This is a very beautiful neutral palette with some pink tones. This is the palette that really caught my attention based on the color story in this palette. 
The formula in here is good, but it's not great. The packaging feels very cheap. For the price that you're paying, $75, I do expect this to be a little bit more high-end. Overall, an okay palette, but I'm not crazy about her eyeshadow formula, so would I purchase another eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury? I will definitely think about it twice before I do that, especially for the price that I'm paying. I'd rather buy a Natasha Denona or put that extra money for a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette than buying another Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette since her formula is good, but nothing special. I also purchased one of her lip glosses, very beautiful, it's in the shade Peachy Plum. I love the wand, it has a shape of a heart, here you go. And this is the lip gloss, it's a very beautiful peachy tone lip gloss. I liked it, very comfortable, not too sticky. Do I think it's worth this price? No, I feel that you can find similar lip glosses at a more affordable price, but I'm glad that I tried it. And lastly, I did purchase a blush from her. Of everything that I purchased from Charlotte Tilbury, this was my favorite product, the blush. Such a beautiful formula. It is a bit of a shimmery satin finish blush. It looks so beautiful on your skin. This is a swatch of it. The blush retails for about $40. I do think that these blushes are worth it. They blend out smoothly on your cheeks. They last on your cheeks. The formula is so buttery and smooth. This was my favorite purchase. Would I buy another blush from her? Definitely. I love how they look on the skin. So now let's move on to the makeup brands that I am eyeing for 2021. I'm not saying that I'm gonna try them all, but hopefully I'll be able to try two or three of them to know exactly if they have a good makeup product. So the first two makeup brands that I am eyeing are indie brands, and the first one is from Glam Light. I've been hearing so much good things about this indie brand. I love their different packaging, I love their creativity, but I really do want to try the eyeshadow formula and some of their lipsticks and lip glosses. The next indie brand will be JC Cosmetics. I actually got one eyeshadow palette from them for Christmas, the one called Amor a la Mexicana. I already have a full video on that palette. JC Cosmetics is an indie brand that I've been eyeing for the longest time ever, but I never actually decided to go to their site and purchase. So when I got their most recent eyeshadow palette, Amor a la Mexicana, I fell in love with their eyeshadow formula. I love how buttery and blendable and long lasting it is. It is a great eyeshadow formula. They do have several eyeshadow palettes that I've been eyeing now that I've been browsing through their website. I do wanna buy one more of their eyeshadow palettes and definitely try their liquid and lip glosses to see if the formula is also as good as their eyeshadows. So those are the two indie brands that are on my top list. So now let's talk about the three makeup brands that I can purchase at Sephora or Ulta. So the first one will be Fenty Beauty. I have tried several things from Fenty Beauty like their lip glosses, a highlighter, and a face powder. But I really want to try more of their complexion products like foundation, bronzer, the new powder foundation. And I also want to try their matte lipstick formula. So I just want to try a little bit of everything from Fenty Beauty to see if the makeup brand is good as a whole. Another brand that I'm eyeing a lot is Juvia's Place. I do have several eyeshadow palettes and I have really enjoyed them, but they have really expanded their makeup brand. They have foundations, highlighters, lipsticks. So I really want to try more makeup products from Juvia's Place besides their amazing eyeshadow palette. And lastly, it will be Nabla. I have heard so many good things about this brand. I have not tried one single thing from them. I wanna try their eyeshadow palettes, their bronzers, and highlighters. That's something that is really on my wish list. So this is one brand that I'm really excited to try for 2021. And lastly, it will be my high-end makeup brand, and this will be Hourglass. I actually purchased the Holiday Palette last year. I did enjoy it, however, I did realize that the setting powders that came in that palette make my skin super glowy. So what I'm looking forward to try for them is their foundation, some more bronzers, blushes, and their loose setting powder. I have heard great things about Hourglass, so I really do want to fall in love with the brand. So for now, Hourglass is the only high-end makeup that I have my eye on. All right, everyone, this is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what are the makeup brands that you are eyeing 
for 2021. And if you enjoyed my video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.